Hello there, hi. Uh, hi, my name is Julie. Um, I'm an artist and I paint with beeswax. Um, I just wanted to do a very quick uh, Facebook Live today. Um, I paint with encaustic wax um, and heated tools, but uh, I've had quite a few questions recently asking how to um, how to paint with the stylus, uh, encaustic stylus. People have been having a few problems with it. So this is a really quick, um, very rough and ready um, live to hopefully show you how to um, iron out a few of those problems and help you to sort that out. So excuse the state of this, hopefully you can see this okay, let me know if you can or if you can hear me and see everything okay. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm going to show you how to paint with um, these kind of wax blocks here um, and, and this encaustic stylus. So this stylus comes with two of these painting um, pens and a painting brush if you like um, and the feedback I've been getting is some people are just sort of struggling and they can't kind of get, get the wax to flow and to work properly so I thought I'd do a quick video and I can send this link out to people and then they can hopefully get the most out of their equipment um, with that so um, just sort of to, to recap so I've been painting with beeswax for about six years now I absolutely love it um, I supply the equipment because it's not available in very many art shops in the UK and I also um, run workshops so uh, both in real life and online um, so if I can you know help anybody with getting started then you know there's lots of information on my website and I've started doing these videos and things to try and help people so some things that you're going to need so obviously um, you've got your encaustic pen that you're going to need a couple of things that you really really want as well um, is a screwdriver um, with the same cross head fitting as the screw so make sure that that so on your stylus hopefully you can see here there's a there's an encaustic sorry there's a, a screw which holds the the nib in um, and this whole section here gets really really hot so you need to mind your fingers on this so a screwdriver that fits in there just hopefully hopefully you can see this okay if you can see or hear any of this hopefully it's coming out okay uh, do comment in the links below. I just know that you can hear me okay. Um, and then take your pliers and take that out because this section here is really, really hot and it will burn your fingers if you um, pick it up. The encaustic iron doesn't get so hot, but this stylus really, really does get very, very, very hot. So you're going to definitely need yourself, get yourself a set of pliers or something metal to pull that out and, and a screwdriver. So to put... Um, put those back in so this is basically how the stylus comes so this is the heated section and it heats up to here and then you have a variety of different um go the right way around for you tools that you just insert in the end tighten them up and then you can um you know you can swap those around so there um there's a very small micro tool there's a there's a larger one of these there's a round one of these there's lots of different tools that you can get um as long as they're metal and they will conduct that heat and you can paint with them um, so I'm going to start off by showing you the drawing pencil. So the stylus comes with two of these um, included in the pack um, and this appears to be where some people are struggling. So I've put that in with my, hopefully you can see this okay, if you can see please do comment just so I know. Um, and then just tighten that up so you don't need to take the screw out all the way, just loosen it, just enough to loosen it off and then tighten it back up and then you can just check that it's it's inserted just give that a pull to make sure that that's straight enough for you um, and then what you'll see on the pen again hopefully you can see this okay if I get this in the right position um, the pen has a, a bit of a like it's almost like a fountain pen reservoir up here so if I turn it around you'll see oh, is that in focus or isn't it in focus on this side you haven't got anything if I turn it around slowly you will see that Red there, there, hopefully you can see through that now. There's a reservoir there in the middle um, and then it goes back around. So you've basically got one straight reservoir coming down through here. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is encaustic beeswax, it's, it's um, beeswax, it's pigmented, it's just all ready to go. There's a number of different varieties that you can get but just using this for the purposes of today. Um, and if you can see, I've got to get this in the right position so I'm hoping you can see okay. But just poke that, you don't need to push it or anything, just the heat of that wax is going to pull that up. But what this does is it actually, quite difficult to see on this particular camera, 
but that's just dipped in the wax so that's kind of gone molten where the the heated stylus has touched that but what that's done is it has almost like again almost like a fountain pen it's actually sucked that wax up through that reservoir if we can actually catch it on camera going up through might just be able to see the wax glistening and kind of sucking up through so um, what you can then do so I move this down a little bit now and I'll keep moving this back and forth so you can see a little better so I'm using an encaustic paper it's just a thin paper um, used for encaustic wax um, but what you can then do is kind of put dots or you can draw and you just start to use it a bit like a fountain pen um, once you run out of wax you go back in again and you can just sit and, and kind of doodle away now the thing that I find the biggest um, also then to clean so if you want to then change the color of your wax <clears throat> people have asked how to clean your stylus off so just take a piece of tissue or toilet roll and then just gently wipe it in the, your tissue and that will come up clean again and you'll be kind of that's got the excess wax off of there and you're ready to go in on another color um, so I've got a blue here now so if I do a bit of blue as well I'm trying to go quite quickly now so you can see, and I'm not drawing anything in particular, obviously, just, just to give you an idea of how you start to then draw with that pen um, and to get patterns and shapes. Now, one of the things that people are really um, don't seem to have on, if you don't have this reservoir pointing upwards towards the ceiling, the wax doesn't flow. So if you have got your reservoir filled with wax, but you're holding it at the wrong angle on the wrong side, it, it doesn't flow out. So you're gonna see it's not gonna come out. So just by twisting, just going to do this as well. Yeah, we are. By twisting your stylus around, you will then get that line going across. But what people are doing is holding it on the side, and then it, it, the wax isn't flowing. So you have to think gravity, and you have to make sure that that reservoir is pointing up to enable the wax to fall down and actually come down and land onto the paper. So that's the first little stumbling point that many many people um, I've come across have um, been struggling with so that's number one little tip for you for um, for painting another thing as well depending on which manufacturing um, set you've got occasionally the wax can run out and it's it comes out really really fast and there are two tips in your in the stylus that comes in um, <clears throat> but what you what so you, what you need to do is kind of close down the, the, the width at this far tip. Now, if you just get a set of pliers and you just press that together, it seems to pull further and further apart. So if you get yourself a tiny, tiny little piece of metal and pop in the middle, you can see like this is just a little piece of, it's a very thin piece of metal, but it just seems to be enough to kind of hold it apart. Um, and you get two of the stylus tips as well. So it's worth having a, a play around with this. Um, my old original ones were perfect every time, but this, this new um, set that have come out sometimes just need a little bit of adjustment. So if you can see that, okay. So it's a small piece of metal just to hold it in place and then just pinch the end down. Um, and what it will do is just, it will narrow that reservoir. Um, if you can see, okay, there in the tip. And it just stops that flow of the wax coming out quite as quickly. Um, and then it will just help your wax to to flow. Not doesn't kind of run out of the the stylus, uh, you know, super fast. Because what some people are finding is they get a massive splodge, just literally just come out onto their paper straight away. Um, so that should get around that problem for you. So that's two two tips there. Make sure that you're holding your reservoir the right way round, and you can shorten that that side as well. So that's. Tip number one with the stylus, excuse me, I'm having a sniffle. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show you was I wanted to show you with this um, painting brush as well, because this is another area that people have been a bit, uh, found a bit tricky. So I'm just gonna unscrew 
this always always use your pliers because this is now really 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 hot so always use your set of pliers to take that metal attachment out because that really does smart if you touch it um, put your painting brush in and then just tighten that up like that you can just check that it's secured properly so which that is and it doesn't take very long that will <clears throat> soon heat up um, one of the biggest things I always say as well is it's so easy you automatically go to pick this up like a pen and it's just it's almost um, you know inbuilt we just pick the pencil up at the end of here always always make sure you only only grip this section here I do actually have a number of tools that sometimes silicon tools can be quite good you can pop on around the edge and um, different things but they, they, they have drawbacks but just please please don't touch this section because it doesn't have any kind of thermostat on and it, get, it does get really really hot um, so with the painting attachment the biggest thing with this is to be really 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 gentle really gentle so you literally just hold it on the wax like this just touch it and then hopefully you'll be able to see this okay you can kind of paint some quite much larger areas of um, you know whatever it is that you're painting obviously not doing any finished pieces here but you can get some quite thick it's great for filling in large areas um, with colour so you can start to kind of blank in much much quicker than the doing it simply with the stylus so obviously there's no masterpieces going on here it's just a techniques thing um, but you can see if you were trying to kind of color in quite a large area there you can do that quite quickly but the thing that i find with this is people are just way way too rough you have to be really really gentle and there's no forcing you literally just touch the paper when you're cleaning the stylus, just touch it onto some tissue really, really gently. And don't push against the grain, because you'll see these are all individual wires on here. Um, what happens if you, ooh, <clears throat> if you have them all going in different directions, they get really knotted up. I don't know if you can see on here. Um, but they get, where are we? They'll, yeah, they'll just get really, really knotted and mangled and you can't use them. So what you can do with this is, so you just clean them up with a tissue, get a piece of clear wax, just to clean that up properly. And you'll see that will come out, but just always pull it sort of towards you so that you're not messing those bristles up basically which will clean that up. And then the next thing, so that's giving you quite a straight line going up and down. What you can do is just gently pull those bristles and splay them out, and that will give you the ability to do hair, grasses, things like that. So again, really, really gentle. And if you get them really knotted up, then you can't do this, um, you can't kind of splay them around. So again, just very gentle and put them you see you get that kind of gentle splayed effect so anyhow have a go with it yourself hopefully that will help the people who were struggling and having problems just getting started and uh, just be enough to give you a bit of a starting point best thing to do is just get a piece of scrap paper and just play with it and see what you can come up with um, have a go at all the different techniques make sure as I said make sure you've got yourself some pliers and a screwdriver and um, don't burn your fingers especially but uh, yeah have a go um, and if you've still got any problems with it give me a shout and let me know and I will see if I can help you and answer any more of those uh, those getting started problems that you were having anyhow um, you say any other questions or if you want to know any more information um, you can have a look on my website which is Julianne's well, it's the right way around or the wrong way around Julianne's gallery .co .uk. Um, there's lots lots more information on there I'm currently working on a new website as well so there will be lots more coming and um, yeah any questions just drop me an email or write in the comments below and I'll see if I can do another one of these to help iron out any of those 
problems. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Um, catch up with you soon. Bye.